my name is Kayvon Karobi. Uh, I'm at Boston University, as you said, and the background says it as well. Um, I am uh, a lecturer in the biomedical engineering department in the College of Engineering at Boston University. Uh, I also uh, have an additional role where I am the manager of one of our BME makerspaces or our only BME makerspace, which we call the uh, Bioengineering Technology and Entrepreneurship Center or BTEC for short. Um, and so uh, what's really nice is actually the courses I teach take advantage of the BME makerspace. Um, so a lot of the courses I do are, are more of the hands-on laboratory type courses for the department. So I started this role fairly recently. I started it back in the spring of 2022. Uh, and that's, that, that semester is when I taught my first course. Um, and, uh, I've, I mean, I, what I enjoy, which is, I think my motivation for getting into teaching is I just enjoy working with students. Um, I like, um, engaging with them and seeing how they learn and how they're curious actually, um, and seeing the diversity of how students learn and their curiosity and doing the best that I can to sort of adapt to each individual. Of course, that's hard because the classes tend to be a bit larger in size, but Nonetheless, um, trying to learn from the way they are curious and, and the way they learn and sort of adapt my teaching accordingly, if that makes sense. Yeah, so, um, so my lecture responsibilities are primarily course related. So um, I teach one course each semester except summer. So I teach one in the fall and one in the spring, uh, which is a little bit unusual for lecturer. And the reason for that is because um, of my additional role as manager of VTech, um, that sort of counts as additional uh, course duties, if you will. And a lot of that comes through engaging with the senior design teams and students who use VTech. Um, so um, let's see, I don't do any, I'm, I, I'm just getting exposed, if you will, to engineering education research. Um, I just attended my first ASWE conference that recently happened in Baltimore. Um, so that was my first foyer into engineering education research. And it was really great to hear all the talks and see all the posters and just, just be able to talk with everyone about what does it mean to do engineering education research. And I, I'm, I'm definitely thinking about how to weave that in in the upcoming ac academic year. Um, I do do research outside of that space still actually. Um, and this is just something uh, I've, sort of coordinated myself, right? I, I do, I still do some technical research related to my technical background, which is in uh, biomedical optics. So I would say a lot of the connections are happening during the class time. So whether that's during lecture or during the laboratory times, um, even the times just before or after those periods are good times to connect with my students just more on an informal basis. Uh, so I try to be as welcoming and as, as friendly as I can be so that uh, students find me approachable, hopefully, or feel comfortable approaching me and just, um, you know, being able to speak with me about things that are even outside of the course uh, and what their interests are and or maybe what their hobbies are. Uh, one example, a very recent one is that I, the course I just taught this past spring semester uh, I had one student who's a student athlete, so he does track and field, and he always enjoyed telling me about his um, how his track season was going because it was simultaneous with the course. Um, and we, of course, we interacted more because we had to accommodate his his needs as an ath student athlete. But um, that's just one example where I enjoyed having that sort of interaction and building that um, with different uh, student uh, levels. Uh, so I have had experience where I. I, I've engaged with everyone from freshman all the way through senior in terms of the undergraduates. Um, in terms of my courses, I mostly have engaged with sophomores or older. Freshman actually has been through advising. I also do undergraduate advising as part of my role. Um, so yeah, I definitely tailor, I guess, the way I, I, I approach or how I engage students depending on their level and the types of things I maybe try to encourage them to think about. Uh, um, you know, definitely as they approach senior year, um, and the way I engage with them as seniors, I, ha I have some involvement um, in senior design as well, because the students will use BTEC, uh, the place, the space that I manage as well for senior design. Um, so at that point, actually, when they're seniors, I like to treat them more as, as working colleagues, actually. So, so to sort of help them 
set that expectation of what it's going to be like once they graduate versus freshmen, of course, I'm very knowledgeable. They just came out of high school, so it's a very different interaction now. You know, to be honest, as I speak about this, I'm definitely learning my approaches and, um, you know, I hope, I hope to learn from others as well, but I, I guess I would say I take a tapered approach, of course. So uh, I think the, the expectations are uh, a little more lenient for sure at the younger, but then I try to have expectations that match sort of real world expectations for my, my older students, my seniors, for example, or juniors even. Um, I do think that the earlier they get exposed to those realistic expectations, the better, but of course, you know, uh, taper depending on, on their level, for sure. Um, so I think it would be nice to find collaborations or work or hear from others that uh, teach and do their education research in similar courses that I teach. So the more hands-on laboratory-based courses. Um, I can say, so to be specific, I teach uh, both a biomedical measurements and a biomedical instrumentation course. So the biomedical measurements is a required third-year course. Um, all juniors have to take it as part of the curriculum. And then the biomedical instrumentation course uh, that I'll be teaching this fall, for example, is, the, is an elective course, which tends to be um, seniors and they had to have taken biomedical measurements. So that's a requirement for the course, but it's elective. And it's, so it's mostly biomedical engineering seniors uh, mixed with uh, uh, early graduate students. Um, so yeah, I, I would love to collaborate with those who teach maybe similar courses or maybe who just generally have ideas of how, uh, what types of interesting questions or research can be done in those types of settings. So yeah, looking forward to learning from the community on that. Uh, would love to connect. I just joined the Beak Slack channel as well after hearing about it at the conference. So looking forward to engaging with the community and um, really uh, connecting with you all and learning from you all so that I can also uh, work with you all and, and make contributions as well. So excited to do that um, going forward.